Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tower reading for my Libras for the week starting February 8, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. And i also like to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. Thank you. And thank you for those that are sending me emails and private messages and all the private readings that you're trusting me with. Thank you. It means a lot to me. And below the video, you can also see where you can find me on social media. And now for my beautiful Libras, on to your reading. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance. And I also shuffle the cards. Okay, So we're starting this week with the Three of Wands. Okay? This is a deck by Morgan Greer. It could also be a Three of Rods, depending on um, the deck. Okay, But it's a great energy, especially in this position, because it shows that you're ready to move on. Or you're already in the path of. There's a great energy that you're looking uh, at right now even in this position, because the Three of Wands is looking at a certain distance, and it's perfect because this card is coming in this position, so I do feel that you'll accomplish a lot already next week. It's a great energy in terms of you wanting, you um, just marching towards that goal, and it, you know, it could be related to love. It could be you now having this clarity about, okay, this is the type of man or the type of woman I want. I'm going to go for the type of woman. It doesn't necessarily mean you know who that is yet because like I said, there's a certain distance. But you know, it could also be that you may be a student and you're looking at something that you now embarking. Okay. It, you know, it's a general reading, but it's a very good energy in, in, in terms of beginning something or marching towards a goal because now there's a definition where you're you're doing it you're not just thinking about it so it's great it's a great card in this position and let's see what we have in the near past position here we have the six of pentacles so you guys know that i don't do reversal in general readings but in private i do reversal here the six of pentacles shows that you know you have with you the confidence of uh you know resource Okay, that could be time, money, intelligence, or just, you know, skills, because, you know, it's a general reading. Maybe the Six of Cups, for those that are students, says, okay, it shows here you have the finance, you have the possibility to, to uh, support yourself financially. Okay, for those that are looking for a business, you know, because you're looking for something here, it could be that, you know, Spirit wants you to know that you have the possibility to make it as a career. Okay, because, you know, it's attached to Libra a little bit. We see the, the scale, okay, the scale of, of Libra. So, so it shows here you have the possibility to have the support of the resource, whatever is needed for you. And you going towards your, your disambition of yours, know that any resource that you need, if it's time to study, you'll get it. You know, if it, you know, having the right people around you to build your business, build up your network, you'll get it. Okay, so it's a great energy for you. You know, you have to understand you have Mars in your second house. Your ruler of the second house in his second house. So Scorpio is your second house. His, you know, uh, ruler is there, Mars. So you have to, you know, in terms of resource and money, you're powerful this year. That should not be an issue. And let's see what we have in the position of the future for you. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, I thought you were reminiscing of a past love, maybe. Or maybe, you, you know, you're looking at it, you know, uh, because you're looking at the past, okay? So, what could trigger this? It could be that you have this new moon in your fifth house. moon, A new moon in Aquarius. I think it will be Monday, I think, the 8th. So, this new moon, and you still, you know... Libras are romantic, and also it's, you know, the Valentine's Day on Sunday. So you may be thinking maybe of someone from the past. You want someone from the past contacting you, or you're reminiscing, or, you know, 
but there's definitely a nine of cups here remember that the nine of cups is the slowest of the night okay i think he's on foot <laughs> some other maybe on, on a horse or something but i think this one is on foot so it is is slow it's very slow but libra you could just be feeling a little bit you know dreamy with all this energy uh, going on right now for you but know that um you know you may be also reconnecting with uh, someone, you know, from the past. But for any uh, thing related to love, for those that are single, it could be that, you know, you're going to have a new love coming in because you, you're going to have this new moon in your fifth house, which is the house of love. It's also the house of career, mind you. Career, love, things that we desire, fun. The fifth house, is it's a, it's a major house. It's a very important house because it's a house of the sun. So it's it's big, you know, and it, it relates to different people in different areas. But having this new moon in Aquarius definitely going to shine something very bright for you that is personal. And let's see what we have in the outcome position. The seven of cups. Oh, it's going to make you dream. Okay. Uh, I do feel that, <clears throat> excuse me, some Libras also may be reconnecting with someone from the past. But um, here, you certainly will have, if you decide to reconnect with someone from the past, or if you're looking at the past, know that a lot of, a lot of things will come with it. You're going to have maybe different type of uh, uh, opening happening. Maybe, you know, the fact that you're still looking at the past and you have this new moon because it's, it's you know, it's, it's in a great position from you. Maybe that's going to make you, uh, you know, a little bit... Um, dreamy okay because you know you have to say you have to to know that the seven of cups is kind of like a little bit uh you know a card of an illusion or being dreamy okay because you see in within the in the cups there's different things happening but it's just to tell you in the energy it's just like you know you'll probably you know go a little bit more or see a little bit more than what it is in terms of love because, you know, again, you're not looking necessarily in the future. You're just, like, looking that way. Although, you know, this energy may not be present. So be mindful not to get over yourself. <laughs> With Valentine Day and this new moon, it's going to stay for a while. Be mindful of that. Stay, you know, and, and if, you know, you're in a relationship, don't be thinking about the past or whatever. Don't be trying to attempt to see, you know, it could be that as well for those that are, already you know in a relationship maybe it will bring you that type of energy okay let me know how it resonate with you my libras leave me comment below the video until then i'm sending you lots of love Mwah. bye my libras love you